500 meters. All in. Sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Blue Palace is at the back early on with the free world and by the light of the moon. Holly's view on the left hand side began well. Pomodoro Magic in the yellow cap travels with it. Comesson's Passions in the white headgear. Followed by Miss Predator, Rainbird on the outside in the pink sleeves, then running for the stars, stand side by the light of the moon. Magical River in the pink and white stripes is further back with Free Will just behind it. Then came Blue Palace and Queen of Jazz, the far side in the blue. Coming down past the last 600 meters and out in front is Pomodoro Magic up the center. Rainbird, the outside, stand side by the light of the moon. Free Will now gets asked to run further back. Comesson's Passion and down the inside, Holly's View. Blue Palace, two off the left, is also running on. 300 to go. Pomodoro Magic, Rainbird on the outside by the light of the moon. Down the inside is Holly's view and Blue Palace further back, but now by the light of the moon on the stand side picks it up from Pomodoro Magic. Down the inside is Blue Palace and Holly's view, but by the light of the moon goes strongly in the closing stages, wins by about three. Second free will, Comesson's Passion, third, fourth to Blue Palace, then Pomodoro Magic and Rain Bird. Number three, Rainbird gets fourth. That's just been given to us. Number three, Rainbird will run fourth. So by the light of the moon, clear run on the outside, clear of the opposition, the white cap, and goes on strongly under Richard Faree to win the last at Fairview today. Thanks for joining us out here at Fairview. It's been a great day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at Turfontaine. 8, 7, 11, 3 is either cross the line. Welcome back and by the light of the moon from the Alan Kriev stable in the Mrs. Devine's colours comes out to win the lucky last this afternoon and uh, wins well in the hands of Richard Free. He was aboard when she won previously as well. Now Godfrey for Fred. Godfrey's collecting the 1,500 rand to Fred and well done to Fred for looking after the winner this afternoon. Godfrey, top class. Thanks to World Sports Betting for their sponsorship for the jockeys, I mean the grooms, every race, and we do appreciate it, and so do they, make no mistake. It makes them smile. Richard's in the winner's box this afternoon for the final event, and uh, you were just saying now, you won last time out, was Sticky going as well? I think so, yeah. Um, it was a 50, she had 54 kilos. Against the boys in the maidens, and she had a good draw, drawn one that day, and also it was pouring with rain just before the day started, and it was an early race, and I remember she pinging the gates for a change, which is highly unusual for her, and uh, went to the inside rail, and, you know, they never, they never saw her, you know, so she was yeah. an own thing, and today, almost got a ride, she's still a bit hesitant when the gates opened, but she recovered fairly quickly, and I thought Donald Hitson was going a nice tempo of rolling where he was, and I didn't want to go too close to him, because, you know, the last thing we want to do is be in a, in a sure. two-horse tussle too early, but... She's the type of filly that loves the, the I think the cold climate uh, definitely suits her. She's got a little bit of a, a breathing issue and uh, I think just everything just makes more sense. She's a big girl. She gets out of the sticky going better than the, 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 the smaller ones. And um, yeah, she's game. She won a really good race today. Um, unfortunately, the boss is not here. He's quickly going on holiday for a week, but uh, he'll enjoy that. And just want to say thank you very much to Mrs. Devine and her family. Love the filly, she's done really, really good for us. And uh, to the whole team back at home, well done to them. And obviously to my sponsors at Richmond for their support. All right, can we quickly touch on Fairy Night in our feature this afternoon? Look, yeah. Uh, Going up and down like a yo-yo. Yes, uh, he, he obviously won at 1300 really good, but it was three months ago. Mm. Um, you know, new seasons, um, three months, 1800, sticky conditions, tailwind. They didn't go too quick, but, you know, no excuses. We were a little bit... Um, under the gun through the 900 just before coming into the straight and you know he didn't really give much of a kick so it's just a type of horse that's sort of switched off right now um he will be back we've got a lot of work to do but uh, he'll be back in the winner's box thank you so much richard awesome. well done thank you here we go let's go to amos he's going to come and represent the alan Kriev stable this afternoon with the winner in these those silks those were the jet master silks as we know them and uh, your boss will be happy he's off on holiday a deserving break as well nice way to end the day Yes, of course, you know, it's been a very hard day, ups and downs, you know, that's racing, that's I'm sure racing. he knows. But, uh, you know, he left with a good uh, note, with a winner, 
it's a send off to him. Can just go and enjoy his holiday. Yeah, um, uh, look, this filly, she's been not far, she's been not far away from them. You know, yeah. if you take the last run, she's been beaten a length and a half, and uh, it was uh, her first start from course and distance. If you remember, her last win was over course and distance, and uh, I think she 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 likes the grass. Uh, now we know, you know, and uh, she came here with us uh, and for us, and uh, she had. Uh, breeding problems, as Richard has been saying, you know, yes. we've been nursing her. Yeah, she's much short now, she's four, and uh, you just can take off from here and see. Uh, we just want to say um, uh, good luck to Mr. Divine. Um, uh, we appreciate the support as well. All right, well done to you, Amos. Stop class. Thank you very much. Here we go. Amos, you can take that with and put it down there. That's all, folks, from a busy day this afternoon. It's been whether we're going to race on this or whether we're going to race on that. What's the rain going to be like? And a 100 to 1 shot winning the feature. And that does um, just sort of sum it up. It's a day of racing. And we will be back, obviously, next week, Friday. So it's been a great day's racing. Thanks from myself, Neil Pretorius, Nadine Lowaki as well, presenting Pauline Herman running out, in and out the hail and the rain, taking photos. The entire camera crew, Liesl downstairs, top class job, I thought, this afternoon. And Nakib Munshi upstairs commentating as well. And that's us signing off from Fairview, the friendly city of Port Elizabeth.